Hello everybody and welcome to day 33. Uh, today's chapter is called Where You're Going is Important to God. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. John 2 11. When Jackson passed away I cried and cried. After we had made arrangements with the vet and got home I realized I didn't get a print of his Paul to save and it wrecked me. It's silly I know. I didn't have anything of Jackson's to keep and was so upset I hadn't thought of it before I left the vet's office. It was too late and there was nothing I could do about it, so I cried even more tears. About a week later, I got a card in the mail with no return address. When I opened it, I almost fell on the floor at what I saw. The vet had sent a sympathy card and tucked inside was a print of Jackson's paw. They had taken a print before Jackson was gone. I still have that print tucked inside my Bible. God cared about something that to others might be completely insignificant. God cared about this insignificant thing and he cared about me. Elizabeth Elliot said, if you believe in a God who controls the big things, you have to believe in a God who controls the little things. It is we, of course, to whom things look little or big. It's so easy to think that our desires, prayers, or futures are not important to God as if he's too busy doing more important things, as if there's a limit to what he can do and manage at any given time, as if our perception of big and small or important and unimportant, unimportant is the same as his. But God reminds us repeatedly that he cares about it all. I love the story of Jesus turning water into wine. Jesus was baptized by John in the Jordan River. Then he was led into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan for 40 days. Talk about a tough season. When he came through that difficult season, he began his ministry, and his first miracle was turning water into wine. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jars. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so. And the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, everyone brings out the, brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. John 2, 11, or I'm sorry, 2, 1, 2, 11. Can you believe that? The very first miracle Jesus performed was to make more wine for a party. The very first time Jesus showed his power while other more important things were certainly going on in the world was to help a wedding host save face. What an amazing example of God caring about his people. God cares about every hair on your head and every dream in your heart. He cares about your pimples, your paycheck, and your house project. He cares about the paw print you wish you had and the wine you ran out of. He cares about the big things and the little things and everything in between. Whether you realize it or not, or feel it or not, God cares about where you're going. Every detail is important to Him. And He cares about those things because He cares about you. Reflection and Prayer how does it feel to know God cares about the details and insignificant things in your life? When you pray for your future, do you pray with the certainty that God is listening and cares? How would you pray differently if you knew what you were saying was important to God? Spend some time in prayer today, opening your heart to God. Don't hold back. Talk about any and everything, from your frustrations today to your fears about the future. I promise you, nothing will surprise Him, and what you have to say is important to Him. He loves hearing from you. And he loves showing you he cares. That's going to do it for today's reading. Thank you for watching.